Hi guys, this is Miss Shortcake and I am here with a haul from Spectrum Art Creations. I actually just received my um, eye package and this is from Two Weekend Cells and let me show them to you. So first I was able to get the craft eye from Creative Expressions and this is the Victorian Lace Dye shabby basic look how pretty let me turn it around and i'm sorry if you get some glare but i'm in the kitchen really really how intricate all the little pieces and then uh, i picked up two of these wood coasters she's actually having i know she did one online if you don't follow her on her facebook i mean i'm sorry youtube she shows classes of doing um um, coasters and I'm gonna show you some of the other backgrounds that I picked um, I want to do I bought two sets because I want to get them ready so I can I'm trying to get a head start on gifting gifts for Christmas so this is actually that's what my plans are with these this set and then I picked this up because it's so cute um, it's just very fall and it has some flowers and it's really, really pretty with apples. Look how pretty that is. So I picked, uh, one, I, don't, I don't know how many. I thought, I didn't know how many came in there. And then um, I picked up this big old pad of archival ink in sepia. Excited about this. And then um, she had some stencils on sale. So I picked up this one. This one is from Chow Bella. And this one is called, look how cute cool this one is this one is called double spiral the next one is from chow bella also that one is called dots and stripes this was really cool i love it i wanted this because um i've been doing um ever since i did the uh, what is it the gel plate kind of really like it so I know these hold pretty well and this one is vintage filigree isn't that pretty then this one I believe is webbing spider net and I have some glow in the dark um, matter of fact let me get it I have this distress grit paste and see its glow i also got it at um from maddie from spectrum art creations so i want to that's the reason i bought this one because i want this as a background it's like yeah and then i think also it would look cool in a gel plate then this is stamperia um this is called let me see if it has a name it does not but it's like a crackle paint lifting. I think this would be really cool. Also on a plate. So we'll see. And then I got this one from Stamperia. This one. Do you have a name? It says Formato G. Right there. Focus, focus. But I got it because of this lace. And I think this would be cool on... Um, also stenciling on a gel plate or when I do the coffee dyeing thing I can just leave it on there and let it dry and hopefully it gives me something really nice and look how this reminds me of those eyelet that eyelet you know trim those big old vintage ones <clears throat> and then this one is um, they're called tags they're like little ATC cards and you cut them up um, and this is really pretty. I just thought it was really pretty. I think this one's like cinema stuff. So it's really pretty and it's blank in the back. It's a, it's cardstock. It's 250 right there, 250. Um, this one is really pretty. This is like little fairies. How pretty, right? Okay, then 
she was also having rice paper if you guys don't know what rice paper is this is amazing it's tougher than of course um what is that uh oh my god what we put in the um like gifts and we wrap them wrapping paper i guess that's what wrapping tissue there we go so it's thicker than tissue and it really like kind of blends into whatever you're going to use it's really cool she does have a couple of classes also on her youtube channel you guys go check her out so i picked up this one this is rice paper let me see if it has a name it does not but look how pretty that is and you can you know cut it and put it on a book or whatever pieces that's what i do i like to tear it in pieces and just add it like what i need it uh this one i'm not sure i it i received it but i don't recall picking this one up so i have to look at my invoice but this one's they are pretty <clears throat> and look at this one this one's really pretty you can just cut her so what i like to do is tear it and give the and then it blends and then you can use it as a background or and then you can use all this other stuff for other backgrounds or you can use it all in a canvas if you like to do that also another person that is great if you don't follow ori which is oriana oh uh, let me see i'll try to link her down below once it uploads i think it's ganas de pintar amazing she is amazing with rice paper so I picked this rice paper up. So, and then you can tell the um, the little thread that it has. It's much thicker, and it's but it's so it's so beautiful. So you got I got that one. This one I want to put it on a canvas and create 3D on her. I just, it's like now I regret not picking up a second one, but you know I guess it's gonna be a one on one. And then you got music sheets this one's really pretty look at that a little birdie since i have gordo i'm surprised he's quiet right now because before when i started he was going crazy <laughs> and then i have this one look how pretty and then i picked up this rice paper this is called gothic stories secrets 2 and what i like about this is it also gives you like a little preview on the back and it's just tell you, you know, what their passion is and a little bit of their background, which is really nice. So it came with this paper. I'm going to turn it the other way, actually, so you can get more of it on the camera. So look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. Th this one's really pretty. And again, you can see the the texture on the back. How pretty. <laughs> this reminds me when I went to visit that house in San Jose, Winchester House. There's a room that she has and it has all this and it's pretty cool. That was, that, if you guys have never been there, I recommend it. And look at that. So cool. I think that's why I really gravitated because it really reminded me of the Winchester House. <laughs> look um these are music notes and then it gives you these little um i think these are four by sixes i believe four by six maybe so you could cut them up pieces or whatever or fold them however you want okay then these are called transfer me's if you guys don't know what transfer me again check out her youtube she has classes on all this and they are that's what they are this one's called Vintage Floor, and of course, it was green, and I really gravitated. So you can either cut it up, and then you put it in water. No, you don't put it in water. You put it on your item, and then you pat it, kind of like a tattoo. Remember those kitty tattoos? And then it just slides off. But you just have to make sure you saturate it well. So this is really, really pretty. And it gives you instructions. It gives you here, uh, what is this, the, that code thingy barcode whatever so i picked up this one too i'm trying to make sure it doesn't glare on you guys so much but look how pretty this these butterflies are 
this is actually is a journal I'm, I'm trying to make for my mom who loves butterflies so i'm trying to do that and then i really really just fell in love with this one um i have some trim and that i'm hoping i kind of moved things around a while ago <laughs> so i have this trim that someone gave me from india and it has like the fuchsia the green the purple it has teal also and it has like little bit of gold and then so i want to see if i can find it and i want to use that with this so i kind of had you know because if it if i see it and then i remember and then i don't find it then i'm going to really regret it but look how pretty this is so again there these are trans for me this one is just as traditional design and like i mentioned you just cut it put it wherever you want and then just like just dab it with water and it slides off super easy this one's called butterflies and again this one's called vintage okay and i have to say after everything everything that i bought from her this is my favorite favorite gift her daughter madison sent me this with a little love note it's so cute and she added a little um napkin how adorable is that Madison is so sweet. So my son was sick and I didn't believe him, you guys. I really didn't. <laughs> but I ended up taking him to the doctor because um, he did miss a couple of days of school. And so on the chat, you know, that, that's what I love about uh, them is because this whole group, it makes you feel like your family. You know, they give you prayers and, you know, if you need just a word of encouragement and all that. It's like it's a little mini family, even though we don't meet i mean i'm all the way in california madison and maddie are in another state out in florida and you know so everybody's everywhere but it just it's just really nice the way to make you feel very homey you know welcomed so this was just like my favorite it was just so sweet um and um go check her out and you'll know her story the purpose of her starting this shop and her daughter madison and then, you know, husband, her son is also involved in the business. And, you know, it's really, 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 really nice. That's all I can say, you guys. It was, I really enjoy um, buying from her and knowing, you know, certain, the way everything is run. It just makes you very, very humble, let me say. That's that's what I can say. But and enough of my rambling. If... Um, you are new to my channel. Welcome. Hello. I should have said this at the beginning. Thank you for sticking around in my rambling. Hit that like button. And um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.